I'm Lucy, and this is my dog Molly. She's four years old, she's a working Cocker Spaniel, and she was bought as a family pet, just normal family pet, to just kind of brighten my life. But when she was 10 months old, a charity called Dog Assistance in Disability took her on and they trained me to train her to help me. Um, our training took about three years because we had about 18 months off with my ill health. But um, we're here to give a demo of what she can do and we hope you enjoy it. First we'll start with Molly has to, <coughs> Molly has to walk to heel. She must be able to walk around objects, obstacles and walk sa safely with me. Good girl, won't you? Um, we have, she has to have solid positions, sit, down, heel, good girl. I need her to be able to walk loosely on a lead, not to pull or to sniff or to do anything that could compromise her job. She's got to be focused on her role. She also needs to have solid stays. So, Molly, come, Molly, come. If I leave her somewhere and tell her to stay there, she must stay there until I reward her. Come, down. Day. Molly Heel, good girl, good girl. I also need to know that if I ask her to, to come, but there was an obstacle or a car, something in our path, that she will stop. Molly, sit, down, down, stay. Molly, come, stop. Good girl, good girl. We've shown you some of the basic behaviours that are necessary for most dogs really, but especially for an assistance dog. We're going to show you some of the actual tasks that we've trained her to do. One of the big things for me, Molly leave it, is I drop things all the time. Always dropping things, always apologising to everyone around me, sorry I've dropped this, sorry I've dropped that. With Molly, I can drop an object and she will automatically pick it up and bring it back to me. Good girl. Hello. Good girl. Molly will also fetch items as asked by name. Won't you, Molly? Come. Molly, come. Are you ready? Molly. Can you fetch the keys? No, the keys. Good girl. Molly, come. Molly, come. Yeah, my lap. Good girl. Fetch the purse. No, the purse. No, you've got the phone. Molly, come. You're getting overconfident. Good girl. Go fetch the purse. Yes, good girl. My lap. Good girl. As you can see, she'll fetch the phone, if I ask her to, most of the time. But obviously, you wanted to do that by yourself today. Molly will also, if, say, I'm unwell, or I feel poorly, or I need help, and I can't shout, Molly will take a note from me, if I write a note, and she will carry it to either my nurse or to my mum. Molly, take it to mummy. With a bit of attitude, of course. And she'll bring it back. Molly, come. Yeah. Good girl. It means that I can summon help in an emergency, which is really important because I do have collapses and things like that. And if I, if I can't speak, obviously I need her to be able to send something to someone. Molly will also carry items if I ask her to. Are you ready? Including her little basket, which I can put items in. Molly, take it, and she will carry it. Good girl, take it. Molly, take it. Good girl, take it. Yes, take it. Come on, come on. Yes, good girl. Molly, come. Every day I take Molly for her daily walk. This is my routine every single day. We get up, we go out, Molly knows that's her walk time. But when we come back, I need to be undressed. And so Molly will show you that she will undress me, hopefully. Show me how she can undress me. Are you ready, Molly? Are you ready? Come on then. Come on then. Molly, can you pull hat? Pull hat. Good girl, thank you. And can you pull glove? Oh, glove. Yes, good girl. What about my jacket? Can you take my jacket off, Molly? Are you ready? Pull, pull. Pull, pull. Good girl. Switch. Pull, pull. Pull, pull. Good girl. Thank you. 
and we've settled at home, I've got my clothes off, next I need to do the washing. So Molly, shall we do the washing? Come on then. Come on then, shall we do the washing? Are you ready? Are you ready? Molly, pull, pull. Pull, 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 pull. Pull, pull, fetch the washing. My lap. Good girl. Fetch the washing. My lap. Molly, my, Molly, come here. Fetch the washing. Fetch the washing. Good girl. Fetch the washing. Good girl. Can you pull, pull? Pull, pull. Good girl. Right, Molly, wait. Push. Good girl. That's better. Good girl. Good girl. So Molly's got my washing out. Now I'd quite like to do some reading, but Molly, I need to turn on the light. I know. Are you ready? Molly, come here. Come here. Wait. Can you pull? Pull the light. Pull it. Yes, good girl. And Molly, I think I finished. Wait, wait. <laughs> Go on, turn it on. Turn it on, pull, pull. She's second guessing me. She knows this routine, so she thinks, right, what can I do to show my mum up? I'll just do it all without her. Turn it off, pull, pull. Right, Molly, come. Another, I call it a trick, because it is kind of a trick, but a useful trick is that if I sneeze, Molly, Molly will fetch a tissue. Molly, wait, wait. Are you mind reading today? Achoo! You know? Yeah, thought so. My lap. Good girl. Right, Molly, can you put it in the bin? No, Molly, in the bin. In the bin. Good girl. Come. Good girl. However, it's not all fun and no play, and Molly certainly does love her tricks, don't you, Molly? Can you spin? Spin. Touch. Sit. Beg. Oh, yeah. Spin. High five. Yes. And you speak. Oh. Yes. Speak. Oh. Yes. Can you spin? And down. Roll over. Yeah. Oh. That's got to be one of her favourites. Rolling over. If all else fails in the world, just roll over. And Molly, can you switch? And Molly, now this way. Molly, come. And back switch. Good girl. Yes. Can you sit? Paw. Good girl. Other paw. Good girl. Other paw. Good girl. Well done. Well done. And for our finale, one of Molly's tasks is that I can send her to a place. So if there were, she was in danger or I needed help, I can actually send her somewhere to fetch something or simply to go and stay so she's safe or I'm safe and ne what's necessary. So I wonder how fast and whether she'll do it, Molly will run to her mat. Are you going to run to your mat? Come on then. Ready, Molly? Ready, Molly? On your mat. Over there. On your mat. Molly, come. Come here. Come here. Ready? Oh. On your mat. Where's your mat? No. <laughs> come on, on your mat. On your mat. Not that one. Come here. Molly, on your mat. On your mat. Down. I know, you've got an opinion today, haven't you? Right, Molly, come. Good girl, ready? On your mat. Good girl, down. And Molly, come. Yeah. Come, come on. Good girl. And as you can see, all the way through, I've been giving Molly treats. This has all got to be positive reinforcement. She needs to know that it's a big fun game and if she does as she's asked, I will reward her. It can be toys, treats, praise, fuss. I tend to use treats because that's the way to Molly's heart, but there you go. So we are constantly giving her treats. In a normal day, if I ask her to do something, I wouldn't. But in purposes like this where I'm training or I'm teaching a new task, everything gets rewarded. And so Molly, how did you feel that went? Did you feel it went well? <coughs> yeah, high five. Good girl. And would you like to do it again? Would you like to do it again? Would you? Come on then. So, Molly will also carry her little flag, won't you? Are you going to carry your flag? Come on then. Come on then. Good girl. Come on then. Come on then. Carry your flag. Carry your flag. Good girl. Carry the flag. Yeah, good girl. Give. 
Yep, good girl, thank you. So thank you for watching our little demo about what Molly can do. There's a lot of... I know, it's an applause for you. It's an applause for you. Molly can do a range of other tasks, like she can pull blankets off me, she can push buttons for lifts and doors so that I don't have to reach. She fetches the post. I haven't got a door to do that today, but she does fetch the post. It's one of her favourite tasks. And she does all sorts of things that make my life easier, better, and she helps me retain some dignity over my life. I've got 24-hour care, but I'm not constantly saying, sorry, can I have this? Sorry, can I have that? Sorry, I've dropped this. Sorry, I've dropped that. I just ask Molly, and it's the best game in the world. So thank you for watching our demo. If you want to know more about the charity Dog Aid, just go to www.dogaid.org.uk. They are a charity that help people, disabled people train their pet dogs. So, as I said, Molly was not destined to be an assistance dog. She was a family pet. But she passed her assessments, there's three of them, and now she comes everywhere with me. So, and you enjoy all of this, don't you, Molly? And she was recently awarded the Doggy OBE for her outstanding devotion to me. She upstaged me. I've only got an MBE, but she got the OBE, of course. Didn't you, Molly? You just love to upstage, don't you? So, and if you want to follow up with our antics, with Molly's got her own blog called Molly Dog with a Blog. It's on Facebook. So, yeah, that's, that's us, and that's all what we can do. Is he good, Molly? High five. Yeah, good girl. Well done. Come on, then. Come on, then. Go on, then. Go on, then. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Go on then, go on then. Molly, come. Molly, come. 